Hi. I don't have that, that much energy now, so... I was just yes, um, I was thinking, maybe do a FNAF lore test just because I, I don't know, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just start, because this is a long one. It's 46 questions, so yeah, let's see if I do know my FNAF or not. Uh, starting easy, name the four main animatronics, or animatrums. Animatromos? Okay. Well, there's Freddy, uh, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Are the animatronics in the first game haunted? Yes, they are. The FNAF 1 location is the first of the pizzerias to be opened. That's false. It, the FNAF 1 location is in uh, 97, isn't that it? I think so, I have no idea. The alias uh, that security guard in the first game uses is... It's Mike... Schmidt. Ah, uh, is that how you write it? Uh, Schmidt. Yes! In which night does a phone guy uh, pr presumably die? Phone guy? Um, he's dead in night 5. I know that because it's just the music box playing, if I remember correctly. Or it's just static. So, it's night 4. Because he is there on night five, uh, 3. <laughs> In the phone call in the fourth night, the phone guy asks the player to check the suit before Freddy's jump scare audio plays, ending the call abruptly. Yep. The name of the broken toy fox, uh, foxy animatronic in the second game is... My good friend, Mangle. Yeah. For what reason did the animatronics uh, kill you in FNAF 2? They don't recognize you as human and want to stuff you into a suit? No, their facial recognition software is faulty. The angry spirits are seeking your revenge. No. The facial recognition software recognizes the security guard as someone that is banned from the location. It's either one of these two. It's the facial recognition. It's not the angry spirits. They are just robots. Um... Ah, oh, this is hard, actually. Um, um, oh, this is hard. Let's do this one. Yes! Oh my god. Who plays Michael Afton in FNAF 2, who looks near identical to his father, William, and who has been banned from the pizzeria following the disappearing children incident. Yeah, um, couldn't you have... I wrote written the names correctly. Uh, it's ah, oh, I I'm nitpicky. Okay. Uh, the FNAF two animatronics are haunted. <laughs> Which ones are you thinking about? Because the toy animatronics aren't haunted. That's the facial recognition recognition. Which is why you have to wear the mask. But the withered animatronics, they are haunted because it's the ones in the first game. Which is weird since the second game is a prequel. I have no idea. Uh, the FNAF 2 animatronics are haunted. I don't know what, what they want. <laughs> um, true? No. Okay, I need to go with my gut here. The bite of FD87 was done by... I think it's Mangle. Yes! Though it hasn't technically been confirmed for good, it's widely accepted that Mangle is the, is the most likely candidate for doing the bite. Yeah. And if not, I was actually thinking it was Toy Bonnie. 
the name of the chil of the child possessing the puppet is my name, Charlie. Springtrap is the only character capable of killing the player if not three. That's true. The other animatronics in the game are hallucinations and only cause jump scares, audio disturbances, or disable key features functions of the game. The FNAF 3 location is a haunted house. Okay, <laughs> I changed the background music. <laughs> yes, um, after the, the rumors surrounding the Fazbear Entertainment franchise following the disappearance of the original six children, Fazbear Fright is opened by the company. Oh, the horror attraction featuring Springtrap. I think I'm gonna get copyrighted for this. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, okay, I can't. Okay, now we're in the mood here. <laughs> Some FNAF music in the background. Okay, okay. What did the mini games in between nights lead to? The resting of the children's soul, the reveal that William Afton is Springtrap, the answer to who did the bite of 87, the names of the dead children. It's not those under... I think it's the resting of the children's souls. Because of the masks. Yeah. If a specific pattern glitches are followed correctly, the final screen of the game will be a close-up on the four animatronic heads without lights in their eyes, representing the resting of their souls. What do the hallucinations... Why do the hallucinations happen? The person we play as is scared and imagining things. The hallucinations are part of the horror attraction. The office doesn't have enough ox oxygen. <sighs> this one is hard. Office one makes sense, but that's only when the ventilation is actually going down. So let's do the first one. What? Frick. The name of the person we play as is. As in the game one, two, and three is the real name. Um, I have no idea. Um, Michael Afton. I don't know how to spell his name. 102. Okay, <laughs> it's Afton. <laughs> I can't spell Michael. In what year does FNAF 4 take place? Ah, <gasps> oh, 83. That's the bite of 83. FNAF 4 takes place inside a dream. Not confirmed. But, mm. Oh, I can't remember if, if it's confirmed or not. In that case, it's false. Um, let's do not confirmed. Correct, yes! There are currently two different theories for the fourth game. One is that we play as the crying child uh, the entire time following the Bido 83, and the game takes place inside a coma. Uh, the other is that we play as Michael Afton. <sighs> Distraught and overcome by guilt due to uh, causing the bite in the first place, uh, and it takes place in the nightmare. The plush that guides the player is named Fredbear. Psyche friend Fredbear. Heck, <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> if not for, in FNAF 4, we play as the crying child. Yeah. Correct. I don't want to read that. <laughs> Which incident is shown in the FNAF 4 minigames? By the 83. We can see that on television. Since the location takes place in the past. What? No, that's that's incorrect. It's in the past. Since the location we play as Michael Afton. True. That's confirmed. The company that owns the sister location is Afton Robotics. Or uh, owner the sister the sister location it's the um uh -huh, so it must be after robotics yep in night two which animatronic helps the player circus baby 
the game ends with the player being fired by for tampering with the, anim with the animatronics. No. A news article showing the shutdown of Circus Babies Entertainment and Rentals. That's what I tried to remember. The player getting scooped in the scooping room. Yep. The animatronics say capturing it and hiding the player. No, no, no. That's <laughs> a knife war. Uh, the the sixth game, Pizzeria Sim, was supposed to be the final game of the series. That's true. But then Security Breach happened. Yep. <laughs> Hi! Hi, Demi. What goes awry in the introductory sequence to the game? The game crashes unexpectedly. The player is jump scared by a rundown model baby. No. Dark Freddy sprites all around the screen. Nothing. Isn't it this one? Yeah, the game doesn't crash. Uh, choose which of the following is not the subject of the one of, of one of Candy Cadet's stories. Oh shit. I know the kittens are a thing. And the ch oh, is the children a thing? Oh my god, I can't remember them. Okay, uh. A tune? Oh, well, that was a guess. Whew. The name Lefty stands for... <laughs> it's not the first one. Lure, Encapsulate, Fuse, Transport, Extract. No. Lure, Encapsulate, Fracture, Transport, ex Exude. Locate, and Trap, Fuse, Transport, Extract. Oh, this is hard. Ooh, what does Lefty stand for? I do not know. I've heard it before, but I don't remember. Let's do this one. Oh, frick. <laughs> the speech at the end of the game is given by... Henry Emily. Even though Henry Emily is in canonical leave the name, it's just Henry for now. How many possible endings are there? A pizzeria simulator? Six. What? Oh, it's the seven then. Huh? Okay, I need to do some research here. Okay. Okay, um... How many endings is in... Pizzeria Sim? Six! Yes, I did the correct one! <sighs> okay, so it's clear this is not the best quest ever. <laughs> uh, Modern Freddy is a different version of... Fun time, Freddy. What? Okay, okay. <laughs> what is Molten Freddy previously? I did not think about it. Oh, it's Ennard, of course. I'm so stupid. I, I know, I know. Okay, that uh, I didn't think. The knockoff animatronics, the pig, the frog, the elephant, and the bear are called. Um... Oh, 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 I, I remember, I remember. Oh. Oh my god, oh my god. I, oh, I know it, I know it. Oh. Shit, um. <laughs> Oh my god. My brain work. Work. Oh sh. Oh. It's something with melodies. Um mediocre melodies. The mediocre melodies. Okay, you're going to watch me. Mediocre. That's how you <laughs> write it. Mediocre. Mediocre. Okay. Yes! The name of the ruined the Afton Spring Trap animat animatronic is called Scrap Trap. Everyone knows it's a stupid design. We're playing as Michael again in FNAF 6. Yes, that's true. Ultimate Cousin Knight is 
a personalized hell. Who is the first uh, that has seen everything? <laughs> Chica. One of the Wither Cheek is a voice lines is I was the first, I have seen everything. Which animatronic attacks uh, once per night? Afton slash spring. No, 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 no. Spring trap, hello. What? Huh? Okay, so I. Okay. Who attacks once per night? Ultimate custom night. None of them were there. That confuses me. Okay. Whatever. For what reason do the events of Custom Night take place? William Afton dies in the fire of Nap 6 and relives the consequences of his misdeeds? Nope. William Afton dies in the fire of Nap 6, but because he refuses to rest, he remains in hell still? Nope. William Afton dies in the fire of Nap 6, but one of the souls inside the Golden Freddy is vengeful and refuses to let him rest? Yep. I now know when this quest was made. <laughs> the second cutscene that the player encounter is called blank blank the high school years. Oh my god. <laughs> I know what it talks about. <laughs> it's a weird chica one. Oh, I don't know. The second cutscene that the player encounters is called I don't know, um... Toy Chica? The high school years? I don't know. It is? Oh, wow! Okay. Now on some lore from the books. Okay, okay. I read some of the books. The name of the essence uh, that can give the animatronics the ascensions is called... Remnants. The twisted animatronics use a very advanced technology known as the. Oh, it's a... oh, it's a long time since I read that one. I really like it. I would have checked it out, but my my nephew borrows that book. Ah, uh, very advanced technology. Ah. Uh... I like the background music though. <laughs> it's the um um uh, chip <laughs> funny chip. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> According to the books, uh, what is held in the box of F four? The body of Char Charlie Emily. I think the owners of the secrets of the series from the books no the original spring looks soothe no the knife from the original children's numbers no it's the it's charlie she is found in there by john in the fourth closet charlie emily is turned into an animatronic after her death this one is tricky it's true enough because charlie emily she got kidnapped when she was three and killed by afton but then she is made into a. Okay, it's false. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh! I hate this quest so much. <laughs> the Circus Baby, Baby animatronic contains the cells of both Charlotte, Emily, and Elizabeth Athen. Ooh. It's. Oh. It's. it's this is. Oh, that's the truth. Yes! Oh my god! Final question. What order do the games take place in? Very importantly, if you explain yourself well enough, it might consider your answer correct, even if it technically isn't. What order do the games take place in? Oh! Okay, okay, this is a tricky. Um, I'm thinking. I think FNAF 4. And then FNAF 2, SNAF, uh, not that one, 
Nav 2. Let's do the full names in case. Vanessa Fred is 4. Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Okay, it's a fourth one with a bite. Then there's FNAF 2 with the second bite in 87. Then there's FNAF 1. Oh, sorry. Uh, five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, just Fan as Freddy's. Then there's the fourth one. Five Nights at Freddy's. Three. <laughs> oh my god. Whew. Okay. I am holding my breath here. Yeah, I'm gonna look that up after. Because I am guaranteed not correct. Um... Yes, it's the fourth one with the first fight, then the second fight, then there's the first game, and then there's the th the third game after 30 years, then there's a Pizzeria Simulator. Uh, and then there's a Ultimate Custom Knight. <laughs> that was almost a wrong word there. <laughs> uh, Ultimate Custom Knights. And after that one, it must be Security Breach. And then Ruin. I'm just gonna count Ruin. Ooh, 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 ooh. They must be here. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna go with everything because I have no idea when this quiz was made. <laughs> so let's hope uh, the VR ones are there. Help wanted. Then security breach. Then ruin. No? Then help wanted too. Then ruin. I think so. Let's see. 79%! That's not bad. That's everything. Okay. Okay, let's uh, check it out. Uh, NAF timeline. In order. Okay. Chronological timeline. That doesn't say anything. Um, FNAF 4, then 2. Yeah, I said so. Oh, I forgot sister location. Oh my god, I completely blanked there. Oh, and I forgot Into the Pit. It exists. I played it on the channel. Hello. I did actually do that pretty good, I guess, but this one isn't 100% cor correct, so yeah. But that will be all for now. Oops. Don't look. <laughs> now I can. Uh, fix. Oops. Um, <laughs> you don't need to watch everything I look at. <laughs> I'm gonna go over to Beastars again. Oh. There we go. You're gonna watch this. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. That was my... Me taking a quiz. You're right, Demi. Yeah. Yeah, that will be all for now, I guess. Yeah, it was fun. I wish it was. Maybe I'll take another quiz when I know where the best quiz are. I don't usually do quizzes, but I like doing them. I love them. So, yeah, I had fun with this quiz, even though some were wrong. Like, the results, so yeah. A little outdated because it all 
the FNAF lore changes all the time and nothing is confirmed, <laughs> basically. 5% is confirmed. So, but that will be all for today, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.